archaeological decipherment of the Harappan, Olmec, Minoan, and Meroitic writing systems. Since 1977, I have deciphered many ancient writing systems and languages. An archaeological decipherment of the Harappan, Olmec, Minoan, and Meroitic writing systems I explain how to find the cognate language to the dead language of an ancient writing system to decipher the targeted ancient writing system. Although it is alleged that Africans were always illiterate, archaeological, historical, and epigraphic evidence indicates that Africans invented many writing systems and that these writing systems were used from ancient times all the way up to the present. An archaeological decipherment of the Arapan, Olmec, Minoan, and Meroitic writing systems. You will learn how I deciphered the Indus Valley writing, Olmec writing, Meroitic, and Linear A. The reader will learn how the decipherment of ancient languages demands that you have to 1. Understand the history of writing. 2. Understand the history of an area or region where the language was spoken and if possible, influences of diffusion in that particular part of the world. 3. Understand what people from the old world may have influenced the region where the undeciphered writing was found. And 4. Have a strong desire to learn a new language. In archaeological decipherment of Harappan, Olmec, Minoan, and Meroitic writing, I explain how archaeological evidence indicates that African literacy began in the Sahara over 5,000 years ago. This earliest form of writing was a syllabic system <coughs> we call Thinite that included hundreds of phonetic signs which over time were shortened to, to between 22 and 30 key signs and used as a syllabary by the Mandi people of the Fazan and Niger Valley, Dravidian speaking people in India, the Sumerians and Elamites in Mesopotamia, the Shi or Olmecs in ancient America, the Egyptians, Merodes, Phoenicians, and Ethiopians. An archaeological decipherment of the Arapan, Olmec, Minoan, and Merodic writing system, I explain how the various African writing systems are based on the Thinite script. The Thinite script was first used in Nubia. Variant forms of this writing was later used by people belonging to the C group culture of Africa, who later migrated into Eurasia and the Americas. Archaeological decipherment of the Harappan, Olmec, Minoan, and Merodic writing systems explains how I was able to decipher many ancient writing systems once it became clear that a common system of record keeping was used by people in the 4th and 3rd millennium BC from Saharan Africa to Iran, China, and the Indus Valley, based on the Thinite script. Although the Elamites and Sumerians abandoned the Proto-Elamite writing and the Uruk scripts, which was based on Thinite respectively in favor for cuneiform writing, the Dravidians, Minoans, or Etiocretans, and Mandin continued to use the Proto-Saharan script. You learned that I was able to decipher these ancient writing systems because of the Vice script. This book explains where I discovered that the Vice syllabary of 200 characters matched all the signs in the syllabaries of Crete, Olmec America, the Oracle Bone writing of China, and the Harappan script. Due to the genetic linguistic unity of the people who made these signs, when you gave the signs in these diverse areas the phonetic values of the Vice signs, but read them in the Dravidian or Mandine language, you could read the ancient literature of Crete and the Indus Valley. Thus the syllables which retain constant phonetic value derived from Thinite was used by different groups to write their own languages. Many would-be deciphers have assumed that it is almost impossible to prove a genetic linguistic relationship using data of comparative recent time death. But this view of archaeological decipherment is untenable. In fact, in the well-known decipherments of Egyptian and cuneiform linguistic data of a comparatively recent time death was used to interpret the inscriptions. For example, Jean Champollion used Coptic to read the ancient Egyptian writing, 
And Sir Henry Rawlinson, the decipher of the cuneiform script, used Gala, a Cushitic language spoken in Africa, and Maha, a South Semitic language to interpret the cuneiform writing. This meant that we could read the Proto-Saharan writing using recent Manding and Dravidian linguistic data. Archaeological deciphering of the Arapan, Olmec, Minoan, and Merodic writing system would teach you would-be deciphers how to decipher dead languages and bring new knowledge into the world.